You never know. Let me date my diamond ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? These are a bunch of awesome gods. Let's yeah. Make it awesome. It's all really good Hell stuff. Yeah. It's all really good stuff. Hey, good. How are you doing, man? You do comedy? What up, Adam? Yeah. Are you a comedian? Yeah. Oh, what's, your, Barker. what's your name? Adam. Adam, how That's long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I've been five years. Wow, five years. Yes, and where do, you, where do you do, what clubs do you do? Uh, actually, Sunflower as well. Oh, and where's that? Just down the street? Yeah, yeah. Thompson Street. Yeah, oh, sweet. Well, you can pick one too if you want. <laughs> oh, sure. What do you, you want? Know? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Comedians <laughs> open cards! My name is David Bacon, and yes, everything is better with me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, everything. All right, so we're out on the street. It's freaking uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I got a barker. What up? It's uh, the slum dog to the slum dog millionaire, Anshuman. What's happening? Awesome, and he's been doing comedy maybe a year. Yeah, you and a half, something like that. All right, and so who? And you're barking for a bunch of different clubs. Oh uh, yeah, I'm barking for Sunflower tonight, but you know we can spice it up. All right, I'm so it's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and here's some cards, and we got a comedian. Let's play Pokemon. Yes, exactly. Uh, All right. So I just like flick through. Just flip through, pick something out, open it up. Sometimes there's gum inside. A bunch of people eat the okay. gum, which is insane. Uh, you never know. Let me date my diamond ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? These are a bunch of awesome gods. Let's yeah. make it awesome. It's all really good Hell stuff. Yeah. It's all really good stuff. Hey, good. How are you doing, man? What's you do comedy? What up, Adam? Yeah. Are you a comedian? Yeah. Oh, what's, your, Barker. what's your name? Adam. Adam, how that's long good. have you been doing comedy? Uh, I've been five years. Wow, five years? Yes, and where do, you, where do you do, what clubs do you do? Uh, actually, Sunflower as well. Oh, and where's that? Just down the street? Yeah, Thompson Street. On Thompson Street at Sunflower Arcade Lounge. Yeah, oh, sweet. Well, you can pick one, too, if you want. Oh, sure. What do you got? Uh, oh, I, you were a terrorist. Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, brown dude had to go with that one. It's terrorist. happened before. Yes, it's exactly. happened before. You know, second time's a charm. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm not I'm not knocking. I'm just second saying. Second time, maybe. <laughs> I've got a guy getting attacked by a gremlin from the roof. Ooh. <laughs> Could have been 9-11 answer. Oh, my gosh. A guy from... Um, That's not a World Trade Center that happens for you. Well... Mo, Mo Duca, up in Vermont, he's from Palestine. Okay, I thought you were to say Pakistan. I was no, I know. I was okay. Okay, and he picked up some great cards. Oh look, it's Yasser Arafat, the former president of Palestine, right? <laughs> Which is where I'm from. Right? <laughs> Many people thought this was pussy. It's actually Palestine. It looks well, like New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like Tiger Woods' new. Yeah, I thought it was like a new shoe ad logo. Awesome. So Dennis and Dak, what do I just like? Dog open it up. It? Let's open it up and see what you get. Because you'll see the freaking uh, different uh, things. I just like open it? Yes, open the deck. That's an honor, dude. And then you're going to keep them if you want them, and you're going to sign one of them and give it back to me. Look, I'm definitely keeping these, so I'm sorry, I'm shameless. Bro. Yeah, I'm and then if you're, and then, and then to, to make it full circle, what I do, and I don't know if I'll do it with you guys, but what I'm doing now is I'm now making fucking my own cards of the comedians. <laughs> <laughs> There's comic pains ripping off uh, oh, growing pains. It's like match attacks, dude. They have like yeah, I don't know. To be like crowd work ninety eight. So like a tells a tells done the free show. That's awesome. What's up, buddy? Oh my god. Hey, thanks for uh, now. This is a random pick of the cards. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, that's yeah. hype as hell. So, so um, what do you got? I got suicide driver. Okay. Uh, then I have Mad Dog Gaddafi. Oh, you got Gaddafi. Yes. Gaddafi, yeah. I think I've seen a Gaddafi card once before. Hell yeah. Then I have Mastermind of Dead Earth. I don't know who this is. We have to... Wow. Yeah, there's usually info on the back. Yeah. Oh, that is? But I don't know. I mean, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. Sabri Khalil Bana. Okay. They yeah. could all be my uncles, honestly. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know, know what you're into. Is that like a nuclear bomb? Yes, that's a nuke. <laughs> that's a whole wow. nuke. That's... I mean, uh, Putin is threatening that now. Yeah, dude. To be timely. <laughs> just before the world ends. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I just get it, that yo. in. Hey, yo, I <laughs> exactly. That. Said it before it happened. Why didn't you watch? <laughs> Looking publicity. I actually like this. I'll put this on a T shirt if I was. So you're going to keep that one, not give me that one back? No. Can I keep Damn. all of them? You have to that... sign one and give it back. Sign one and give it back. You get to keep all but one. All That's... of them but one. Yes. A sad day for America. 
Oh, every day is a sad day for America now. What is? Mm. What was the sad day? I, I want, Vietnam honestly, or something? Yeah, it looks like Vietnam. Oh, they're shooting up a car. Oh wow. Check it out, man. I don't know. My history is terrible. When Lebanese government. The blast killed 200 people. In Beirut, yeah. Beirut used to be the hip, coolest place to go. Hell yeah, dude. Back in, the, in like the 70s or something, I think? Yeah. And then, and then I think we destroyed happened. it or people did, yeah. Yeah, 2018. Uh, and then we have um, the Ayatollah Speaks. Oh, wow. Cool, bro. I, I love all these cards. Honestly. Yeah. Terrorist cards, not always the funniest. Right, right. <laughs> An option. <laughs> you know, it's Dennis, always an option. Trying to make jokes with Dennis cards, it always bombs. Ah, ah there you know we what go. they say? The jokes for those never land. Hell yeah. Look at us. Naturally, naturally just fucking this whole shit up. Do you oh, want to yeah. turn it around so you can see better, or can you see upside down? Oh, I haven't seen upside down. Right. Honestly, I, I think I will sign this one. Awesome. I love that card, so that's very cool. I don't even remember my signature. Or do whatever. I mean, you know, like... Whatever, let's sign it. We yeah. fuck it on. He ate the signature that I have. Oh, those are the cards for in case I run into them. And I got to give Sam those cards. And they're so bad. They're so, <laughs> they're, you know. You can't make them good. Yeah. But they have to be one of a kind. So, like, they can't easily be reproduced. And But they'll throw them in the trash. Eh? Wait, so do you make all the cards? Well, not these. But I made these. I made the these of the comedians. Oh, right, right, right. Based off of them. Awesome! Yeah, and what was your name? The signature I just created. Uh, it's Anshuman. I just created. Yeah, I did. Honestly. Anshuman. Anshuman. Yeah. Anshuman. Uh, Anshuman. Close enough. That's, That's pretty fun. cool. Thank Good you, name. Man. Awesome. It. Thanks for having me on the show, dude. Thank you so much. That's fucking awesome. And if you want the wrapper, that's also possible. I'm definitely keeping these. Yeah, they're All very cool. They're going up. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Dude. Yeah, of course. Man. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Don't forget your freaking. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely. Go get back to these things. I don't want to, you know. Peace out. Those are high value numbers. Hey, yeah, well, I mean, you know. All right, this is the famous pizza place. Everyone goes to Ben's. Ben's. And I think um, Colin Quinn still thinks, ben, you know, he just, he's all Ben's. Ben's is great, yeah, honestly. Yeah, Ben's is great. I'm having this, like, penny slice right now. It's been awesome. Yeah, I, I, I've had their pizza many a time. Yeah. So did you find a pack, pack yet, or? I did. I found the Mad Pack. Oh. I like Mad ass. Magazine. Get yeah. Ass. Okay, good. No one... This is the only one of MAD. There's no other MADs. No what? Well, I mean, there's, I don't have any others. Some of them I have, like I have a whole case of, I have a whole, I have 36 of this. Mm. So, like, uh, Nate Bergazzi opened that. The night. He's an Andy Griffith guy. Yes, he's watched every episode of, of Andy Griffith. And he said basically that was the only show he was allowed to watch as a kid. Okay. We were a big Andy Griffith uh, show fan. And that's, uh, I was really only allowed to watch that growing up, so uh, I've seen every episode of yesterday. Awesome. Well, let's open the cards then. You know? Yeah. I mean, who knew? It's, it's so whack. It's hilarious. Yeah. I don't know his comedy as much as I should, but I know it like a little bit. But he's... I like to see comedy in the small clubs and stuff, and he's way too big to see him live. Oh, and I don't like yeah. to watch stuff. So it's like I have to, I have to get him when he's like doing the SNL thing or coming in, you know, to like try something out. That's the only way I'll get to ever see him. So real. Wait, yeah. so you, how'd you meet him the last time you met him? Just uh, like over here? on the street. Oh, outside like the cellar. Yeah, I saw him a couple times, you know, and then I then I actually got him at the stand when he was when he was running his sets uh, for SNL. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it stands, great. stands so great. Stand is great, yeah. No, I love Mad because, okay, there's, you know the National Lampoon? Yeah, of course. I'm sure. Um, like, I just watched the documentary, like, about a year ago, and it, like, changed my view on, like, comedy. Uh, Rick like, Glassman is in that. Yeah. He plays, um, Rick Glassman's also done the show. Really? Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. The way you said you went away and then you mumbled <laughs> Appalachian Trail, it seems like there's something you don't want to reveal, and we don't have to get into no. it. No. But the went away on the Appalachian... We, we, don't, we don't need to get into it. It makes me feel like, you know what, maybe we'll open a different pack of cards. What is... What you... Yeah. Okay, because, like, the guy who uh, started... National Lampoon out of like the Harvard Lampoon. Right. He was like a legend in the comedy scene and he was really like. I can't remember his name, but yeah. Uh, oh, what's his name? Um, it's crazy. I can't remember his name either, but he was like 
He's the guy who found Chubby Chase and Gilda Radner and all these like legendary comics that went over to SNL. Right, and, like, right, yeah, right, right, I'm right. I'm sure you right, know the right. history. Yeah, well, there's a whole bunch of. Th I mean, there was there's like there's a bunch of people that came down from Canada from that like pl that play or whatever. Or every they were all doing um, God smell, God spell or something. Oh, yeah, a yeah. bunch of like, and then people came from that. So you know, and then it's yeah, the whole. But like, uh, sadly, like he he died of, like in his thirties. Uh, right. On like a bender. Right, right, right. And his empire kind of, like, never recovered. You know, National Anthem kind of, like... Like, they had a good run with, like, their 90s movies and stuff, but right. now it's, like, nothing. You know, right, 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 right. Sure. Well, probably the writers and stuff, too, whoever's, you know, it's all about them. Yeah, naturally. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like if there was, like, a, a big figurehead, though, like, running the whole thing, like, the same way Hugh Hefner is for Playboy, like, I watched the Playboy documentary, too, and okay. I mean, it was so impressive that way, like, Hugh Hefner made his brand like a global yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, well he was a figurehead yeah and he was willing to fight against the because he, he he had to fight like he had to go to court and stuff yeah about yeah. the about the about the girls i think about the magazine i never i didn't see that show but yeah, yeah. fifth like 1955 maybe that started Playboy? Yeah, 19, I, I think, think 55 yeah 55 right. and it was marilyn monroe was the first issue which they've yeah. they've made fake ones of that also yeah yeah, yeah. But he bought the real ones and got the rights to it, which is crazy. No, I mean they they fake today. That first issue oh, of Playboy that, yeah, yeah. is worth so much that they make fake ones of that, yeah. so you could think that you're getting the old original one, but you're getting a fake one. And what's insane about Hugh Hefner is like he was a virgin until marriage, and then in his marriage he was unsatisfied with like the way that he had his fifties life, and he was like, "There's got to be a better way." Right. So he talked to like his, his neighbors about it, and some of his like close friends, and talked about how he wanted to make this magazine that was going to change men's lifestyles. Huh. And it threw her off because she posed for Playboy. He just got religious. In real life, they so they wrote her character off. Wow. And when did that Kinsey report Playboy. come out? That was probably 60s. That was, that was probably 60s, later. Yeah. It was a little bit, I think it was like five years in the Playboy or something. Yeah. But like it affected the, like. Because I know that before. changed a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then the Wonder Woman guy, the guy who invented Wonder Woman was like, because that, he, he had some sort of multi-female like wife situation thing and the bondage that's all really oh the look into the birth of Wonder Woman from the cartoons the 30s thing like the original that that's uh, insane. Like he had multiple wives in America something well not he had some open relationship thing with multiple women and he liked the you know, she's in the mess, she's yeah. she's got the ropes and those <laughs> things. It's all like a bondage little freaking like Yeah, yeah it's kinky. Look into it, yeah. It's yeah, kinky. Yeah. yeah, it's it's cool. <laughs> I love Gal Gadot though. But yeah, so mad, I love reading like mad magazines and like Barnes and Nobles growing up, so Originally the Spell first the first were comic book size. They were smaller. Yeah. yeah. And then later they became that larger full magazine, magazine yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those first ones are worth quite a bit. Oh yeah. Alright, so this looks cool. So there's bubble gum in here too? I think so, yes. Alright, cool. Wait, so how long have you had these cards for? Uh, I, I've been doing this whole thing. I'm coming up on the year anniversary. I've probably, I've done, I've put up 35 episodes in a row, so. Wow. Yeah. Wait, how often do you post episodes? Once a week. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you'll right. be up Monday. Well, I don't, actually, I shouldn't say that because I don't know what I'll get this weekend, so. Yeah, yeah, But. Editing is a pain, I know. I don't really edit. Oh, nice. That's like live stream almost. I mean, I'll put in stuff sometimes, like, because if we mention other comedians, I might put in stuff. I start, at the be at the beginning, I was putting in, like, if, I don't know, just all kinds of stuff, but it, that was so much work, and it's like, eventually that stuff will get kicked off if I'm using, like, Knight Rider theme, you know, even though at now it's maybe okay. Honestly, I don't think I should chew the bubble gum. Like, look at the, look at the edges of the bubble gum. It's got, like, a little bit of schmutz on it. Oh yeah, the brown, the uh, it's, uh, it's browned a little bit. Might have been in an attic for a little while. We've seen worse. Yeah, we've seen worse, <laughs> but that's not bad. Yeah, there is not and a just <laughs> chance in this earth that I eat this gum. <laughs> it looks like it came out of an old lady's coffin. That is fucking <laughs> old lady's coffin. Yeah, that's a actually, vagina. Is that a vagina reference? This does look like an old vagina. Oh, it's like brown. Look at that pink oh on the inside God. and brown around the ridges. Just how I like it. One, that's there's one of them that's real nasty. The gum is is, is super bad. Like it's, My yeah, yours, is, yeah. your gum's bad because it'll be like discolored. Nah, B, I'm good. This this gum is from, this pack is from '89. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. B. It's old. You, you don't. Yeah, you, it's 
Yeah, yeah. I ain't touching that. That's coming around again. Syphilis is right it? now. That's the one that's. I the think syphilis come there's back, something baby. that's. There's <laughs> syphilis the remix, baby. Watch your pussy. Syphilis is coming back. It's coming. Right. It's dropping. Got a dope Michelangelo card here. Oh, but yeah, uh, I don't recommend it. Moldy bubble gum. Okay, but yeah, so we got the mad cards. So. Oh, are they copies of. They must. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's a sticker, the first one. Oh, yeah. A collector sticker that's number fun. 115 of 128. Nice. Pretty cool. We got Matt on Strike. Yeah, another sticker one. Wow. For voting intelligently. That's pretty cool. Well, oh, maybe they're all stickers. Yeah, I think it's five stickers. And oh, how yeah, cool yeah. is that? Yeah. Okay, the now we got 116 of 128. Oh, this looks like a. Uh, you know, wow, you're real. You're like Dr. mentioning Shoes the numbers. Almost. Yeah. Wow. Oh, looks cool. Janine Garofalo read the uh, gum ingredients. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She was a fun one. What are the ingredients on it? Well, <laughs> I'm not suggesting it necessarily. It's, you know, sucra or... Uh, Red letter, bazooka... Would send you... Uh, Westbury, New York. Print clearly and give zip codes. Back in the old days, you would just write to get stuff. Of course, yeah. You'd probably send it, you send it to like a wrapper and maybe a quarter right. or and something. Then you get and then, something. if like the ingredients, it'll be like dextra, like Here it'll it be more, uh, you know. Tops chewing gum from Pennsylvania. Um, let's see, dextrose, corn syrup, gum base, softeners, natural and artificial flavors, artificial colors, BHT to maintain. Oh, BHT. Oh, that's. In Canada, made and distributed by OPG. London, mm. Ontario. Old gum, that's an old gum company, OPG. Under yeah, yeah. license with Topps Chewing Gum. You know, yellow number five or whatever, or red, there'll be a color on Honestly, it doesn't look bad. It's corn syrup, gum based sugar, softeners, artificial flavor and color, and BHT. That sounds like a nice drug, BHT. Well, BHT preserves the freshness. We used to put it, What? it's not good for it. BHT is very bad. Oftentimes now, what they'll do is they what, they'll put it in the cellophane, like in your cereal. They'll put it in the in the wrapper oh, in that okay. thing yeah, like and that will help preserve it rather than the food but BHT is, is not a good thing. The cereal is interesting. It's plastic in a box. A cardboard box. Why not just do the cereal in the cardboard box? Advertising. The cereal. Advertising. Yeah, yeah, the cardboard box is not there. But what I'm saying is you don't need the plastic necessarily. Maybe freshness. It's freshness. It. You need the plastic because it's, uh. it's, 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 it's as soon as oxygen hits it oxygen makes the food spoil. I hate plastic though in general. Like I'm a big biodegradable plastic guy. I'm trying to create biodegradable plastic replacements for all single use plastic. So I feel like that's a really easy one to do. No, glass worked pretty good. I mean, no. But that, that it's just heavy. It lasts a like thousand years in the landfill. Like, it's, but glass, you can melt it back down. Yeah, it's meltable. But like when you want to throw it away for good, because most stuff is just thrown away for good. Like glass yeah, is yeah, yeah, way yeah. worse than plastic. Plastic's a thousand years. Right, but we used to, we used to, you used to go and you would take the beer and the beer bottle would be cleaned and given back to you. Yeah. But I mean, well, what's it, wrong with that? You would get so many uses out of it. It takes so much time though. It's way cheaper to make new plastic than to clean old plastic. Plastic is oil based. I know, but it's still so much cheaper to clean, yeah. to not clean. You can't clean. Yeah, yeah, but then, well, I don't know. I mean, if you get some sort of cellulose, I mean, we're working on the cellulose thing from plants and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, it's the liquid, it's the leak, you know, the plastic is terrible. I know, I hate plastic you know. so much, but yeah. unrelated to comedy, back to the mad I stage. may have to edit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the, the shtuck about the environment. Yeah. Uh, unfunny environmentalism, okay. Then we got the mad police, the postman, no one named occupant lives here. Nice. I remember those things from the magazine. Like you'd get sometimes they would have a page that would have they weren't stickers though, but like this kind of thing. I think they just are they're just obviously straight from their thing. Yeah, yeah. No, these look like little snippets. Oh, of, this like, is like a puzzle. It looks like. Yeah, no, it definitely look, yeah, looks like clearly. a puzzle piece. Like there was one sixteen earlier, so I think it's connected. Like. And then there's another black and white puzzle in the back. Probably maybe spy to spy. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Spy to spy. So that's why you collect all of them. Right, right of course. Like, that's the idea. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so. I give you one back, right? You give me one back, yeah. Okay. Did I take that pen? Yep. Nice. And then, so you, uh, how's, uh, how's the New York comedy scene? How do you like doing comedy here? Oh, I love it. I love comedy. I've always loved comedy since I was like, I don't know, I guess eight years old. Right. And I started writing comedy in middle school. I started performing comedy in high school. Oh, wow. And now I'm 22. I've been doing comedy about five years. Wow. And yeah, I, I love it. Wow. It's always an adventure, because I love talking to random people. I love doing things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even barking and like just interacting with random people passing by on the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. An adventure. Well, it's fun when you have a thing. Yeah. 
you have a thing to go back to because you're barking about the show. Exactly. Like selling stuff too. If you're into the thing that you're selling, it's cool. If you're not into the thing, it's no good. Yeah. But yeah, there's you have an instant way of, you know, the connection. Like, oh this, and people are either interested or they're not. Exactly. And then you whatever. Yeah, either they're interested and they stop or they keep walking. And I, that's the best type of like interaction for me. Like either we talk Well it's the same thing as you, in the sense it's the same instant gratification as comedy itself yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. getting the la oh that's a good joke oh same thing here like oh and then you work on your material here in a way yeah like I mean that's how freaking um, Gomez worked up he Lewis? was a barker for the oh. longest time he ran like yeah Louis J. Gomez yeah. ran a barking teams back in the day in, you know oh yeah no yeah. it's a grind it's crazy like Marcelo Hernandez he's on nice. SNL now he was barking out here for the pair yes he's Fucking hysterical. Yeah, he's I've, nice I've, I've, I've seen he's him hilarious. once or twice. Oh, I saw him on the street too, and I couldn't remember his name. Like, like, oh. and, and I had, I always carry some cards with me, like a smaller thing. But I was like, I can't remember his name. I, I don't oh, want to just such a pain. But I could have been like, oh my god, I know Wait, this what's one's your funny. Name again? You're on SNL. Well, no, I didn't know he was, was even on SNL. I just recognized that his face. I just saw him do stand-up, and he was hysterical. And then, yeah, I, you know, oh. saw him on the street near. Um, DeRosa's uh, sub shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's just a whole bunch a great of... great angle we got there. You... Well, it's so when you pick the cards... I you... know, I'm busting you. I know, I'm just Oh, joking. God, you keep doing it. Jesus, I freaking take man. it goddamn so it's seriously. It's show, I thought. Frank. Well, yes, but I take everything so goddamn literal. It is not a great angle, but... Uh, well, then you were serious. I mean, for my... Well, just for this, is you know, I, you know, what are you going to do? It's That's what um, Sagalo did a whole freaking thing with his, like, chin. I'm going to try to... Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like terrible it for me. <laughs> and and, and uh, 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 Simeon, it just dissolved his mouth. Yeah. So I assume he lives over there or is hanging out over there or something. Exactly. So, yeah. But I actually saw him twice and I was like, oh my God. But some other time. Okay, these are great. So I don't think I'm going to get the full puzzle. So I feel like I should give you back one of the puzzle pieces. Oh, skiing, yeah. Whatever. Skiing, skiing's cool. Um, which one's worse in the back? Oh, I like this big arm. Look at this guy's little snout. Oh, I remember that person yeah yeah I, that, is it part of spy v spy no it's not spy versus spy but like um i can't remember who drew it but i remember this character i, I can think of the yeah i've seen that i i just don't know the guy's name i don't think it's sergio reminds uh, me of a cartoon network character from chowder the chef from chowder and he didn't know have any like language skills in the show so right he would just go rah, 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 rah. Wow. And everyone to understand him somehow because everyone else had like super language skills, but he would not be able to speak English at all. Like he would just. Rah, 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 rah. It's like the parents on the. Um... Charlie Brown, yeah. yeah, same exact thing. Yeah, yeah. So I love that guy. So awesome. I'm keeping him. I'm gonna give you back uh, head of woman. Nice. Maybe bulge. Nice. Nice bulge. Awesome. All right, so I like this. We got just a recap. We got the classic mad takes. We got the. Uh, Little police warning over here, and the voter notice over here, and then the final. Hopefully, we won't have to call the police tonight. I just saw that police sign. Yeah, the police one. Final chowder guy. Chowder awesome. All right, and I'll sign it. Awesome. It. Super duper. What was your name again, man? David. David. Adam. Adam. Should I sign? What? Side? It's all up to you. Oh, That's all. It's whatever you do is up to you. Malev. I love what you're doing. What was your last name? Malev. Okay. I'll write it out too. Just spell it so I can. Adam. Malev. Malev. Awesome. That's Super me. duper. Awesome. Great Thank you so much, it. man. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so Dave. Much.